information, and we're excited to relay that to the people. For now, I want to yield uh, my time to the gentleman from Pennsylvania, Ms. Muser. I thank my good friend uh, from Louisiana, Mr. Johnson. Thank you to the Vice Chair for your leadership. Uh, Madam Speaker, my constituents tend to say the, this phrase very often lately, they've had enough. Madam Speaker, American families, seniors, and small business owners are struggling to keep up with skyrocketing inflation. That's not news to anyone. Families are contending with high prices at the grocery store just to put food on their table and canceling summer vacations due to record high gas prices. Small business owners are being squeezed with both increased prices of supplies, shipping costs, wages, you name it, while they are seeing reduced revenues from customers who are reducing their own spending, of course. Uh, our seniors, many living on fixed incomes, are struggling to maintain their basic quality of life, afford necessities, and the gasoline it takes to travel to their doctor's appointments. But Madam Speaker, you don't have to take my word for it. This week, I asked my constituents how inflation has impacted their daily lives. In less than 24 hours, I received over 1,400 responses from seniors, from small business owners, from mothers and fathers from every corner of my di district who are struggling to keep up with inflation. A few examples, Michelle from Schuylkill County has had to cancel necessary doctor's appointments because she cannot afford the, the current prices of gasoline. Carl and his family from Carbon County had to cancel their vacation due to astronomical gas prices. William from Carbon County has informed me that inflation has gotten so bad that he must choose between eating or whether to fill up a gas tank to attend his needed doctor's appointments. Rick, a small business owner from Luzerne County, has had to slow down his business expansion and is unable to hire new employees while also having to raise prices just to keep his business afloat. Scott from Lebanon County has been unable to visit his elderly father due to inflation slashing into his savings. These are actual responses from my constituents. Today, Madam Speaker, I had uh, small business owners in, constituents uh, from my district, uh, for a small business roundtable. Some of their feedback on, on inflation included uh, fighting, fighting the headwinds rather than extending any of their resources to grow their business, delaying growth and delaying projects and hiring, and uh, one member, uh, one, one constituent whom uh, is in, does construction states that the recent T&I bill that was passed in this house will now, will now create 30% less projects in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania because of the high level of inflation. So that, real, that really hits home, to say the least. So, you know, Madam Speaker, I'll just have to say that in only 18 months, my constituents are right. They have had enough. And Mr. Johnson, I yield back. Thank you, my friend. Uh, it's a great reminder that this is real pain for real people, that, that this is not a game here. What we do, a 